Why is Elon building bricks? Traffic is soul destroying, acid on the soul, it's horrible. Get your discount bricks here. It's supposed to be way more durable. This is the fire extinguisher for The Boring Company. Another one of Elon's Save the World projects. This time it saved the world from terrible traffic by building tunnels. In December of 2018, so almost two years ago, I went and saw the very first thing that The Boring Company has ever really done. I literally stood five feet in front of Elon as he pulled a Tesla Model X out of the boring tunnel, and then he stood right there and talked about the boring tunnel for like 30 minutes. Let's try every solution possible. The thing about tunnels is that you can go 3D underground. There's no limit to how deep you can go. They're weatherproof, so you will not hear, see, or feel the tunnels being created. You have to make transport 3D. You can weave boring system tunnel network into the fabric of a city without changing the character of the city. But there was one part that he talked about that really intrigued me. It was the boring bricks. About 15% of tunneling cost is just trucking the dirt out. In other tunneling situations, they actually truck the dirt from the tunnel out and truck new dirt in, which makes no sense. So we're gonna make bricks out of the dirt from the tunnel and then sell the bricks. The tunnel could actually pay for itself with just bricks. Like a lot of these things are really quite elementary, but are not done. If anyone shows up and it's needs bricks for affordable housing, it's free. After he talked about it for a little bit, I looked over at my friend Zach and I was like, I'll buy a brick for that one. I'll buy a couple of bricks. So it's been almost two years since that and uh, I did buy one, and actually I did buy two. I gave one to my friend Anwar Beck when I toured the Tesla Gigafactory in Austin. I thought it'd be a cool gift, it's super unique. So these are supposed to sell for 10 cents a brick, which is incredibly cheap. This is the version one brick. They made 500 of these bricks. Some of the dirt they took out of that tunnel, they call it the muck, it's like this wet, dirt that they get out from under the ground. They take that and they kind of shape it in the form of a brick and they let it sit out for a few days and they flip it back and forth like a patty. And then after that, they take it and put it in this giant compressor machine and it compresses it and it puts the logo on it. Well, when Elon saw this come out and he saw the boring company and how on the edges it's kind of like cut and ruined, he wasn't satisfied with that. He's like, I don't wanna sell a brick even if he's selling it for 10 cents that has this like messy edge. This is according to an employee that told me about this. And so he took the first 500 bricks that they made and he just gave it to the employees that actually worked on the tunnel. I bought this for $200 and I bought two of them. So I spent $400 for two bricks that are going to cost 10 cents in the future. I'm not very good at investing in things. Since the event that night, The Boring Company did pick up one important customer, the Las Vegas Convention Center, and they are almost done with their first project. So this is the Las Vegas Convention Center, and you can see behind me, this is usually where all the booths are during CES and the check-in, and it's just shut down right now because of COVID. They actually have a testing center here at the Convention Center, but Elon Musk and The Boring Tunnel is full force building their tunnel right there. And that is going to be one of the main stations. This is 24 seven building the tunnels. Now you can see some of the drilling boring machines, boring like they're boring holes in the ground. We haven't heard anything about them using the dirt from these tunnels in Las Vegas and building bricks out of them. Maybe they're abandoning that, I don't know. But it is cool to see the process. This is going to be the world's first functioning boring tunnel, in Las Vegas, Nevada. In the future, they wanna be able to like run it to all the different casinos and hotels. But for now, they're working 24 seven to try to get these tunnels built super fast so that Elon can show the world we can build tunnels, we can build them faster than what most people build them for, and we can build them for a tenth of what most people build them for. But I really wanted to test this thing out. When Elon was talking about this, he said that it would be cheaper than at Home Depot. So we'll be selling bricks at 10 cents a, a brick which is less than at Home Depot, which I'm told is 25 cents a brick. Well, I went to Lowe's and I picked up some bricks. Look at all those bricks. <laughs> These are the four most common bricks that they had sold at Lowe's hardware store. This is a red clay brick and this is 53 cents. This is a red clay brick that is used. This one is 58 cents. This costs five cents more than a brand new brick. So why would you buy, maybe the used ones are harder because they've been out longer? I'm not quite sure, a brick expert can tell me. This cinder block brick has metal in it. I'm not sure why it has metal in it, 
but there's metal in it and this costs 71 cents. And this is just your regular gray cinder block brick. And this one is 43 cents. So this one is the cheapest of all of them at 43 cents. And the boring brick is claimed to be 10 cents. The thing that I like about this brick versus these other ones is you can tell it looks like a Lego. It really does look like a Lego, even on the back. Elon referenced this when he first talked about it looking like a Lego. Bricks that put into each other in like giant sized Lego kits. Even though it's only 10 cents and it's way cheaper than what these guys are, it's supposed to be way more durable. So drop test off of the pool slide with each one of these. Let's start from a low height and then start dropping it and just see what happens with it. I'm gonna make this uh, test very scientific. Chest high. Okay, a little Hawthorne, California dust on the side. Red brick coming down. Same thing, got a chip that came out of the side of it, but nothing big. All right, used red brick, is it stronger? Okay, used red brick that cost more. I wouldn't buy that one. Cinder block brick with metal inside. Did not break. Cinder, bro bro cinder block brick. Ah, oh, cinder block. All right, two of them did not pass the test. And now we go higher. Four stairs up. Now let's go five. Five stairs up, I'm gonna try to drop it in that same spot. Did not break in half. Did not break in half, but almost broke my Sony camera that's really expensive. Oh, this one's hard to do. The one of 500 Tesla Boring Company brick. Did not break in half. We're going up to the top. Metal brick. Does not break in half. <laughs> oh, boring brick. Oh! What am I doing with my life? We've got some damage on here. Side is a little beat up. We lost a little bit of it. This corner is broken off a little. Did not break. <laughs> this one? Oh! That's, I mean, a traditional brick. Hunter, can you move that guy? Boring company brick. This is sad. If it withstands the fall from here, it is clearly stronger than the one that cost four times more, five times more than it at the store. Is that not conclusive proof that the Elon brick is stronger? For 10 cents, if he can really sell for 10 cents, that's pretty good. I think just for good measure, to show its durability, we go one more time and I'm going higher. Even higher. Boring company brick. sad that I did the last one. Why did I have to do the last one? It was going so well and it looked so much stronger. It still beat the other one and that was a lot higher and I did a little spinny spin on that one. And this one is the most durable out of our super scientific test. But the one thing I'm incredibly happy about is check out the logo. It's still completely intact. So I can take this set it in my studio, and we've still got an official boring company brick. All right, it's getting super sweaty. Let's go inside. Bricks everywhere. All three of these bricks that cost more broke before the Tesla, before the Tesla, before the boring company brick broke. So we know these are just as strong or stronger than your bricks that cost way more. Good job, Elon Musk. A great idea for selling bricks for cheap. Is it just a pipe dream? Will Elon ever come out with a boring brick? 
I don't know. There's a lot of things that he says, and then he says they'll be out soon, and then it takes years and they never come out. I mean, will we ever have a Tesla Roadster like he announced three or four years ago? I'm not sure. Even though the employee told me that it's just about the way that this logo is stamped, maybe there's more to the story about getting into the brick business that Elon either doesn't want to spend the time on because it's going to take a lot of time and effort and maybe not make as much money, or maybe it's not going to be 10 cents like he claimed and it's going to cost a lot more. Elon Musk has been tweeting a lot over the last couple of weeks about the Las Vegas boring tunnel. I still don't understand the logistics of one car going through a tunnel one way and then having to go up an elevator, but I'm sure Elon will prove us wrong like he's proved many people wrong over the years. And uh, the brick, cool idea. I'd say Elon, give the people what they want. Give them some boring company bricks. I never broke this one. There we go. Bye, Barrick. It's not that the company is super boring and it's not fun. It's that these tools are called the boring tools. They're like the boring machines. Boring, they bore holes in the ground. That's why it's called the boring company. And layers, of course. Forgot to mention layers. I don't know the legalities of being able to say that we're gonna sell Lego kits. Probably gonna to have to change the name Elon, but maybe he'll, he'll call it not a Lego kit, and then he'll sell it that way, I don't know. 